to know everything about the Omen franchise before going to watch the first Omen, but you don't have time to watch all the movies? I got you. The Omen 1976. Ambassador Robert Thorne adopts a baby after he and his wife Catherine's baby dies at birth. Catherine doesn't know any of this and thinks that he's her biological son. They name him Damien. As Damien grows older, mysterious events and deaths begin to surround him. A priest reveals that Damien is the Antichrist and that his real mother was a jackal. After coming to terms with the fact that Damien is the Antichrist, Robert learns that to kill him, he must use the seven daggers of Megiddo, but he fails when he's killed by the police while trying to Damien in a church. Damien Omen 2, 1978. Seven years after the events of the first film, Damien is now a young boy living with his adoptive parents, and he starts to realize his true identity and powers as an antichrist, and he's not happy with it, like, at all. As people around him begin to suspect his evil nature, they're killed in gruesome accidents. Damien's finally like, okay, if I'm gonna rule the world, then let's do this, and starts eliminating those who oppose him. The film ends with Damien finally embracing his role as the antichrist. Omen 3, the final Final Conflict, 1981. Damien Thorne, now an adult and the CEO of Thorne Industries, prepares for his rise to power. A group of monks tries to stop Damien by eliminating him, but their attempts fail. Damien becomes aware of the prophecy that foretells his downfall at the hands of a group of seven sacred daggers. He sets out to eliminate the children born on the same day as himself, as they might pose a threat to his reign. He dates a woman named Kate and aims to make her son one of his disciples. The film ends with Damien's ultimate demise when he is still stabbed with one of the seven daggers by Kate, who was helping Father DiCarlo, a priest who's been trying to stop Damien this whole time. Omen 4, The Awakening, 1991. In this made-for-TV movie, a couple, Karen and Jean, adopt a mysterious orphan girl named Delia. Strange occurrences and deaths start happening all around Delia, much like Damien in the previous Omen movies. Eventually, it's revealed that Delia is the daughter of Damien Thorne, and she's destined to continue his legacy as the Antichrist by carrying his embryo inside of her until it gets in planted into her unsuspecting adoptive mother, Karen. In true omen form, any attempts to stop Delia tragically fail, and she, Jean, and the baby Antichrist are the only ones left standing by the end.